Okay, so this is a research uh, that I just published, which has to do with uh, the spread of viruses. So we're all very familiar with uh, common viruses like the flu, or we all get the flu every year, or probably gastroenteritis, uh, or children get chickenpox. The question I address in this paper is, how do these viruses travel in time and in space, and whether this is linked to any policies that the government can set in place. So these viruses are benign usually, uh, but in fact, when you add up all their effects, they actually have quite uh, strong effects on the economy. So over the last centuries, the flu is responsible for, for millions of deaths. So it's not a trivial matter if we think of it that way. Now, what my research tried to set out is and, and investigate is the effect of economic activity on, uh, on the spread of viruses. And what I show is that viruses are much more likely to spread during booms than during recessions. The reason is that more people are traveling. And to, uh, to prove that, I do collect data from one particular country, which is France, and I look at how viruses are spreading from one city to another, especially when new train lines, for instance, open up between two cities. I also look at how viruses do not spread during periods where uh, trains are striking. And we do see that during these periods, uh, infection rates go down. Another way to uh, curb epidemics, if it's not by shutting down transportation, would be to uh, shut down schools, which has been done in, in some countries as a measure to protect uh, the public. And what I see there, in, again with data from France, is that uh, closing down schools or during school holidays, epidemics dramatically uh, decreases. And based on these two observations on transportation and schools, I perform some calculation to see whether this is an efficient uh, measure cost-benefit analysis uh, to see how, how, whether this is able to reduce the, the epidemics. And what the results show is that, well, in normal times, it's probably not a very good idea to shut down schools or shut down the entire uh, public transportation grid. But if the virus is a bit more dangerous, or a bit more aggressive, it becomes worthwhile. 